Welcome to the CaliForce video on manually submitting final payments. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to manually submit a final payment for trainees on the CaliForce system. To submit a final payment, your contract must contain trainees who have been approved for a first and second progress payment. Until then, CaliForce will not allow you to submit a final payment. To submit a final payment, navigate to the contract detail page of the contract you would like to submit the payment for. From the contract detail page, click the Create Invoice button on the button bar. Here you will see the options Progress, Final, and Closeout. The only difference between final invoices and closeout invoices is that closeout invoices signify to fiscal that you would like to close out your contract. Final invoices do not. Choose the invoice type final and click next to process the invoice manually. On the final invoice form, there are a couple ways to locate the trainees you would like to submit a final payment for. You can search for the trainee or you can sort the columns of trainees. You can sort by first name, last name, employee ID, total hours, or job number. Check the checkboxes for the trainees you would like to submit final payments for. You can do this by selecting the top checkbox P4 to select all trainees, or you can select the trainees individually. Add in the wage and health benefits data. The wage amount plus health benefits amount must together be greater than the minimum wage after retention for the trainee. If it is not, you will receive an error. The trainee's last training dates and retention dates will be auto-populated. Look over these dates to make sure they align with your records. If any dates need to be changed, you can type in the new date or use the calendar to select the date. If the minimum retention dates are not met, you will receive an error with the option to add special review indicated by a yellow triangle to the right of the trainee. If you see the yellow triangle on the right hand side and you are not sure why, you can scroll over the triangle and you will receive help text with the information for the special review. To continue with the invoice, you can either remove the trainee from the invoice since the minimum requirements are not met or submit the trainee for special review. For information on submitting a trainee for special review, please see the video Invoices with Special Review. When you are done adding trainees to the final payment, scroll down to the bottom of the page. To save a draft of your final payment, click Save. If you wish to go back to the contract detail page, you can select Back to Contract. To receive the option to entirely discard the invoice, you must continue to the next page. When you are ready, click the Next button. This brings us to a summary page of the invoice you have created. The summary includes the total amount you are requesting with a breakdown by payment type. You can also add notes for the invoice. To go back to the previous page and make edits to your invoice, select Previous. To save a draft of your invoice and go back to the contract detail page, click Back to Contract. To discard the invoice entirely, select Discard Invoice. To submit your invoice for final payment, click Submit. As a confirmation of your submission, you will be taken to the Invoice Detail page. The Invoice Detail page shows all information regarding your invoice like the status, submitted date, amount requested, and the trainees on the request. 
click on the contract number to go back to the contract detail page. Mm -hmm. This concludes the Cali Force Manual Final Payments video. Thank you for your time.